Alan, remember when I had the Superman shirt on and I tried out fishing? Oh yeah, it didn't work. Well, look at this. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. A fun fishing, plus you got it on back. Right, yeah, oh. fish on! <laughs> fishing is fun, but catching fish is funner. Oh, when fish traffic! With the spring of summer. From Sacramento River to the San Francisco Bay. We're gonna show you how to get some fish today. Salmon, bass, or trout. Halibut is what it's all about. Stripers on the Delta. Alan and Warren will help ya. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. It's on. Alright. Let's go fishing! Fishing is fun, but hooking is the only way. We're gonna show you how to catch some fish today. Welcome to Fun Fishing. I'm Warren Trumbly. Hi, I'm Alan Fong, and we're up here at Lake Amador. Lake Amador? And we're gonna be doing some trout fishing. Okay, trout fishing. Yeah. Trout, you know, trout, something that you can catch. <laughs> I can catch, all right. Yeah. yeah, but we brought an expert here, too. Yeah, we did. Bob Lockhart. Yeah, he hey, ought to. He owns the joint. Uh -huh. Well, he should know, shouldn't he? Yep. Okay. Bob, tell us about the fishing here. Well, welcome to Lake Amador. We have some of the best trout fishing in the country. Mm -hmm. Plant over 200,000 pounds of cut bows a year. That's a cross between a rainbow and a cutthroat. A cut bow? 200,000 pounds? Yep, we raise them from egg all the way up. Wow, that's one big fish. That's one big <laughs> fish story. Okay, let's go fishing. Yeah, let's go, let's go, go fishing. Right. Yeah. You got one already? Got one already. Jeez. Take your time. Slip them go. in. Ah, Look you got that. one. Wow. Got lucky, didn't I? Fun fishing. There we go. Mwah. And away he goes. You caught and released. On purpose this time. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're doing is we're, you got a Rapala on yours, right? Yes. Uh -huh. You got double line set up on your downrigger, and I got one on mine, I'm trying top line. And, okay. So I just take like a Rapala and I'm just ripping it on the surface. Okay. You know, we're trolling about one, one and a half mile an hour. Okay. So you troll really slow for the, the trout? Mm -hmm. Anywhere from one to one and a half. Okay. And then sometimes they're up on top. We know we're getting at that, where the water temperature is, I can't see it. It's probably like 68. Mm -hmm. Pretty soon they'll be going down. Okay. But, you know, you can catch them up on top in the morning. You had that one fish already, and you caught that at 20 feet. Yeah. Great. It's a beautiful lake, isn't it? Yeah. You've never Quiet. been here, huh? No, I've never been here. And Bob was telling us earlier, there's they don't have water skiing. No. So you don't have to worry about water skiers no or jet, jet skiers. skiers. No jet oh, skiers. This is just a, a fishing lake. Fishing lake, yeah. Oh, this is awesome. I should have been out here a long time ago. <laughs> I learned how to fish here, believe it or not. Really? Yeah, bass. Me and Bob go back a long way. Yeah. Well, he was saying there's some big bass in here. Oh, yeah. A lot of big bass. A lot of 10 pounds. Another one of these big hogs. That's an, oh, that's a nice fish. Oh. Fighter. Oh, man. <laughs> Thing fights, doesn't he? Got me one of these big old cut bows. Yeah. This, Alan. Oh man, he's a hog. <laughs> he's a cut bow. Oh! What happened? Huh? 
what happened? I released it. It's too small. Oh, okay. I, I knew there had to be a reason. <laughs> There's always a reason. All right. Nice one. You're going to have to show me how you did that, Alan. Ooh, nice one. I'll tell you later on the way home. <laughs> is he a nice guy or what, man? <laughs> hey, get the net. This is a hog, man. Oh, look at that beauty. You're going to lose him. <laughs> if I do, you're going for his whim. <laughs> uh, oh, that's a nice fish. Oh! oh! <laughs> man! You see that? Oh, oh, oh. He's about five, six pounds. That was a nice fish. That was a nice fish. You see him? I sure did. That was gorgeous fish. You got another one, Alan? Yeah. You see that sucker hit? Yeah. He hit that one hard. That one popped off the other one. Mm -hmm. Just see him wiggle. That's a big fish. Oh, yeah. That. This is a nice one. Yeah. Yay! Got me a good there we go. <laughs> Woo! Shoot, I should have fought him a little more. Yeah. Nice trout. Yeah, you hey, got him. I my got coat, a fish. Man. Hey. See? You're dragging him a bit. I'm dragging him. <laughs> One of them monsters. Those big old cut bowls. Oh, you got him on the Rapala. Big Rapala. Well, that's a nice one. Nice fish. You want me to net him? Yeah, let's net him. Woohoo! Yeah! A cut bow. All right. There you go. Yeah, how about that, huh? Cut bow. Nice fish. <laughs> well, do you have a fish? Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, it's a nice one. Here, let me get the net. Yeah. I wouldn't want you to lose it. Mmm. There we go. That's a pretty fish. Mmm. You gonna net him or? <laughs> <laughs> or just look at him? Oh, he fell off. <laughs> <coughs> I was startled. I wanted him to jump off. Yeah. <laughs> it wouldn't have taken much, huh? Uh -uh. Isn't that a great Amador trout? Wow. <clears throat> yeah, pretty fish. Pretty fish. Hey, Alan, how are we actually doing this, catching these? Well, what these we're trout doing, <clears throat> we're using downriggers, mm -hmm. and you know, we're trolling about one to one and a half miles an hour. Okay. <clears throat> We're using these dial the line kind of reels so you know how much you have out behind the boat, yeah. behind the cable. Mm -hmm. And I like to set it out about 40 feet behind the boat. Mm -hmm. Here I'm running some tractors on the front okay. and then run like a three foot leader uh -huh. and a night crawler. Okay. And then, and then we just dump that out. Dump it out and so you just flip it over and, and that's a Daiwa line counter? Mm -hmm. This way here I know how much line I got out behind the cable. The nice thing is that's a fairly inexpensive reel, isn't it? Yeah, they're not bad. They're like 89 bucks. Yeah. Okay, Warren, I'm going to show you how to stack, so pay okay. attention. We're stacking the downrigger. We're stacking, and what okay. I'm doing is I'm going to cover two depths of the water column, 10 feet and 20, because okay. you got to have 10 feet in between, otherwise you're going to have a mess. Okay. We're using the line counter reel, so I know how much I'm going to put out. I'm going to set it out 40 feet behind the boat. And the type of rod we're using, this is just a... These are just real light um, downrigger rods. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what's nice about when you're downrigger is they have a clicker feature on it, mm -hmm. so it keeps the line tight so it don't backlash on you. You almost have to have a clicker on it. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to leave it free spool, put the clicker on. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I grab the end All and right. I set this one in the downrigger first. Okay. And when you put them on these clips, you only put it in halfway. And then you just set it down. And that's just clipped right on the back just of the ball. It just clips in. When a fish hits it, it's going to pop off. Okay. Now I'm going to drop it down. you got a gauge right here. Okay. I'm going to drop it down until it says 10. Okay. Then I'll take my second rod. All right. I'm going to start dumping the line out. Again, I'm going to put out about 
50 feet. I'm getting it just away from the cable. Okay. <clears throat> so I've used put it around 40 to 50. Okay. To clicker on. Clicker, okay. And then we're going to go to the stacker. Okay. And this is a stacker. Again, halfway in the clip. No more than halfway. Oh. Slip it around. And that just snaps onto there. Snaps okay. on. And the clickers Both on. ones are on the clicker. It's and on down here. I go. Okay. Now I'm going to set it down about 20 feet. And then I lock the reel, engage them. Okay. And we're so, set. So one's actually at 20 feet and the other one's at 10 feet. So Correct. So we're getting two different depths. Correct. Okay. That's and pretty that's neat. That's it. Well, what Real I, easy. Yeah, what I really like about these reels is these are the same reels that we use for uh, uh, for bait fishing for stripers. And trolling. And, and trolling for yeah. stripers. Anything with a line counter is just a little easier so you don't have yeah. to count how many times it goes across. Yeah. Okay. And I'm all set. So like if I were to get a fish, mm -hmm. I know exactly where it's set and I could put it down in the same spot every time like I was earlier. Well, Alan's been out fishing me all day long and it's a little frustrating. So what I've done is We've gotten Bob over here. Bob, his family owns the lake here, and, right. and you're the one that. 34 you know years. 34 years. You know how to fish this lake. Show me your setup. Well, and my how setup. You're catching my up. setup today included the lead core line, which okay. uh, we were fishing at about four colors of lead core line, okay. and each each color is at about 30 yards. 30 yards. 30 so feet, and 30 so uh, feet. you can get out a certain distance and. It's about and 100. Fish. 20 feet behind, behind the boat, the boat. Isn't it? yep, okay. and then it heads down at an angle. Okay. And then behind that, we put some uh, SEPS flasher okay. and uh, so with a night crawler on it. Okay, you got a little night crawler here. Yep, a little, little blade, flasher, a little blade, and then a set of before four blades and, okay. a, and a rudder in front. Okay, let's see the, the floor. So these little blades are just attractants that just spin yep. around. Yep. Plus they also put out vibrations in the water. The okay. Fish feel that at their lateral line. Okay. And so, so we use that, and then. You just uh, let this out, and you don't need a down, down rig or anything. No, you this, don't need do you? a down rig or this rig at all. Yeah. The lead in the line itself is what takes you down. Okay, and how many pound test is this line? I think it's around 30 pound test. Okay, great. Hey, you know what? You got one. I got I yeah. got a fish oh, on? Yeah. You got a fish. Get oh. that rod right there. This rod right here? Yeah. Oh, excuse me, we're uh, fishing <laughs> here. I wasn't going to say nothing. Huh? Yeah, he's gone. Look, look at that. I, I, I had a, I had a, Bob. A cut boat got away. Would you, would you believe that? Yeah. I, I had this, this fish on. We're talking, he wouldn't say a thing, right? Didn't say a thing, right. Yeah. You're talking about a fishing buddy. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. Well, I saw a fish jumping back there and I saw your rod <laughs> popped off. And uh, I didn't want to interrupt. Yeah. It would be the first time, Alan. <laughs> well, Bob, before we were so rudely interrupted by a fish, by the fish. that got away, <laughs> cut bow that got away. A cut bow, that's an interesting name. Tell me a, a little bit about uh, the, the fish in the lake. What do we you have? Well, years ago we imported a strain from Sweden that was a rainbow cutthroat cross. Uh -huh. and we started hatching the eggs and raising the brood stock. Okay. And now we have this special strain of fish that uh, fights harder and tastes better because we use the best food money can buy. Mm -hmm. And we will plant over 200,000 cut bows this year alone in the okay. little Lake Amador. Okay. And it's open year-round to fish? Open year-round, seven days okay. a week, 24 hours a day fishing. Okay. And uh, and you seem to be pretty successful using the leaded line. Oh, leaded line is one of the methods. Okay. They, they're starting to go a little deeper. Early in the in November, December, January, you can use monofilament and stay in the top two, three feet, and they're right there. Okay. So in the wintertime, it's, it's pretty easy. Yeah. All right. It's a fairly simple method of fishing, isn't it? Yeah. It's a kickback and joy and, and great eating fish. Uh -huh. Somehow I have to catch up with Alan. That's a tough one to match. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You never know. There's plenty of options out there. That's, that's it. Okay. I'm going to get back to fishing. Thanks, right. Bob. Have a great day. Okay. Fish on. Fish on. Fish on. Oh, look at him. He's going to jump. Oh, ho. Hey, Warren, you want to reel it in? That's all right. If I go to reel it in and lose it, <laughs> man, I'd never hear this. Oh, oh this is a nice one. That's a ah, nice one. I got him. Look at that Yay. fish. Yay. And Bob's got hey, another look at one. It. Look over there, another fish. Woohoo. All right. Man. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Oh. 
Whoa! Look at that! Woo! I don't know, Alan. <laughs> well, a few rods got hit, mine did. Nothing's happening. They're just dead as can be. <laughs> oh. But I was just talking to Bob about not fishing you. <laughs> you gotta watch Bob. Yeah. I guess so. I thought he was my friend. <laughs> <laughs> you got one? Oops. He's on there. Oops, I got a fish on. <clears throat> Almost a triple. Oh, I got one on that one. Huh? Yeah. You? I can't I can't tell which one I have a fish on. You believe? <laughs> Yeah, he does got one. That's something. Oh, hey, you're doing one jump. I think you got one on that one too. Bob, pop that. Well, one. here. <laughs> here, Bob. <laughs> Hit your up switch on your down. Yeah. Hit your up switch. Okay. What do you think about this, yeah, Bob? There's one on this tip. Yeah. <laughs> what a bunch of rookies. Yeah. That's yeah. the only reason oh. you got double hitters. My lines weren't in the water. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. That's the only reason. Whoop. <laughs> We're doing, we're doing, we're doing the right way, guys. Oh, oh, this is nice. That's a nice one. Whoa! Woohoo! Wow. Still got yours? <laughs> yeah, I know. We gotta keep going. Woohoo! That was the way we got Well, at least he got off in the boat. <laughs> Oops! Oops! <laughs> He's still in the boat. I, I don't know fish. about you guys. There we go. You come in a boat for well, a rookie. My double header is a little bit smaller than that <laughs> yeah. one. Yeah, that's something though. Oh. We had Woo. we had a double hitter on that side. Turn around, you got a double oh, hitter. Yeah. I didn't even get off the deck from netting your fish, and I had a double header. <laughs> yeah. My gosh. Afternoon fishing at Lake Amador. Yeah. Amador, huh? Good guy. Fish on. What do you got, Alan? Fish. Oh, come on. You want to bring them in? I better watch my other rod. I might get another one. <laughs> get another double? Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, welcome back to fun fishing, huh, Alan? Yep, this is a blast. Oh, gosh. We're out here. It's 2.30 in the afternoon, and we're hooking up left and right. Oh, look at that big boy. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. This one's almost like the one I lost this morning. Okay. Hey, another one. Oh, double hitter! <laughs> oh, 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 beautiful! <laughs> double, double, double! Yeah! Oh, what are you doing? What's wrong you? That's the biggie of the day! Look at him! <laughs> Bring him back, I'm gonna so push you in! Jeez. Bring him up, Bob! Oh! Dang, that thing! <laughs> <laughs> that fish tried to attack me! Oh, oh, he's trying to attack me! <laughs> <laughs> that fish jumped out and hit me! He came right at us, man. Unbelievable. Oh, oh man. Oh. Well. <laughs> you got a double. Laid out. Nice. Only laid out. <laughs> you need some better hooks on your lure. Look at that. Yeah. Look at those hooks. <laughs> oh. that came, he came Come and right hit me yeah. right here. Yeah. I tried to catch him, but <laughs> I couldn't catch a flying fish with a net. You know. Oh, I want to thank Bob for inviting us up here to Lake Amador. Yeah, You're very, very welcome. It's great having fun fishing here at Lake Amador. That's good. Well, we've got a lot of big trout. Yeah, we caught some nice ones. And I learned how to use downriggers and stack. Yeah. A little bit of lead core, how to stack your lines and mm -hmm. how to lose fish. <laughs> how, to, how to catch really it's big fish. It's always a big one that gets yeah. away. And, and uh, if people want to know more about Lake Amador, your website is? LakeAmador.com, home of the cut bows. Okay, that's a hard one to remember, LakeAmador.com. Yeah. Okay. I can remember that. <laughs> so check it out. It's a great place to come, and it's, it's close to Stockton, Sacramento, and that whole area. Yeah, it's full fish. We had double hitters like three times. I know. And then make great. sure you come back and join us next week on Fun, Fun Fishing. Fishing.
fish jam is fine, but catching fish is funner. Whether it's autumn, winter, spring, or summer. From Sacramento River to the San Francisco Bay, we're gonna show you how to get some fish today. Salmon, bass, or trout, halibut is what it's all about. Stripers on the Delta, Alan and Warren will help ya. <laughs> Our camera guy was out fishing the other day and he fell out of the boat, he couldn't get back in. The best way to do it is swim back to the back of the boat. Okay. Put your feet on there. That trim button right here. Right here? Trim it up. Woo there you go, climb in. That's how you get back in the boat if you ever had to. Now, if wow. he could do it, anybody could do it. <laughs> Use your motor, trim it back up, and you just climb right in. Alan! Alan! 